Alrighty. Let's see, I'm going to uh, do a little digital colorization method here. I'm going to use this B image here. You can find these uh, these little images if you do a, do a search for uh, coloring pages uh, on Google or whatever. Uh, I went after kids images and this was one that was free there. So uh, let's see how we color colorize something like this. There's there are different ways to do it. What I would first do would be to paint out these extra things here. That's what I would do personally and I think I will. Let's see, let me get a brush here. I'll type B which is my shortcut on this uh, PSP 18 and it will give me a brush here and uh, let's see make it about size 50 or whatever and uh, want to paint white so I'll change foreground to white and left click and drag get rid of that now we use this to uh, like uh, clean up areas sometimes when you got an image you'll see like little dots and stuff and you can kind of clean it up like that uh, by using the same if it's solid background do that let's see let's use our uh, magic wand here and uh, let's let's uh, do something fancy to begin with let's pick the wings see I have uh, have it on add and RGB value for the match mode and tolerance of 20 and contiguous checked no feather anti-alias checked I got outside checked I mean outside chosen but we'll choose all the wings here uh, I think white's probably a good color for the wings so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But uh, let's see. I'm going to promote the background here. I'm right clicking on that and promote background layer. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to cut off the original layer. Uh, just in case something goes wrong, I can always go back to the original on here. But uh, I'm going to go to pattern, I believe. I'm going to right click on this. Whoop. Me left click on it rather and pattern let's find some kind of wild pattern to make its wings here I'm not going to try to be too fancy or anything it's just so it may not look pretty when I get done with it but looking for some kind of so there we go there's the silver something or other angle 45 uh... okay I'm not going to be too particular about it, so I'm going to cut down the scale size of it. And see, F on my keyboard changes my tool to fill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to fill it by left clicking on it. And it puts that in there. There we go. See, I might add a little bevel to it too here, by the way. Let's see, drop shadow, inner bevel. Let's put a little inner bevel, just something. Kind of give it a little puff there. And I'm going to do a control D on my, hold down the control key and mash D with my left hand. I put uh, my little finger on the control and uh, button on the far left of my keyboard and mesh the D with my index finger so I can do it one handed <laughs> uh, otherwise uh, you could go selection select none see it's got uh, control D there alright let's see what else do we want to do let's get the magic wand again and uh, check out its body we'll do its body Oop. Okay, I have to I have to get on here. Uh, be sure that you're on the body image <laughs> or the image uh, layer. So 
There's the body. There's the body. Mm. We'll make the top part of its head the body too. Just the. We'll call it the helmet <laughs> around the face or the hairline. And let's pick out a color or something here. About like brown. And F for fill. That's the. Let's see what's this say? Flood fill tool. Let's see it. It's got like an F showing there for the shortcut. Alright, we got that. And uh, let's see. Select none or control D, whichever you want to do. And for the face, let's see, let's uh, use a magic wand on the face. And let's pick some kind of yellow here. And flood fill tool. I should have gone to a new layer, but I'm doing it on the layer this time, man. Two ways to do it. And let's, uh, Oh, I should give you flood fill settings. Got match mode none. Uh, tolerance is 20. Use all layers unchecked. Blend mode normal. Opacity 100%. Alright, let's puff, puff out that face by putting a little inner bevel on there. Make it look a little funny. <laughs> And control D or selection select none. Oh, it's got a nose there. What should we do about that nose? Let's just let's leave it white. Use a wand and select it and let's use an inner bevel on it to puff it out. So there we go. And uh, let's see. I guess the arms and hands would probably be the same thing, wouldn't they? So let's pick the arms and the hand. And uh, let's go ahead and pick the legs. And uh, this part of the feet, too. We'll do that. And let's see, what color do we want those? Let's, uh, huh. Let's pick like a maybe uh, aqua here aqua color <laughs> just for fun and change to my flood fill tool which you could either, either uh, click on this flood fill or just type a F which I like doing I like shortcuts and I'm gonna fill them all yay and select none or control D now we got these white things and I kinda like them white let's just puff them up a little bit uh, magic wand and uh, let's see inner bevel kind of puff them out a little bit well they puffed out right away didn't they and uh, control D or select none and there you go we've colorized that little bee and then oh uh, let's do this, something to the antennas here. Let's see. Let's uh, make them. Uh, how about blue? Just for the sake of it. And we'll bevel that too. I like putting bevels on things. So it's not so flat. All right. Oh, we got a little, little bit left over here. See that? We can use our brush for that type of B. And if you have a, a mouse, let's see, you can use this. Zoom left click. Or you can use your mouse to uh, roll, roll your mouse wheel up to enlarge it. But I'll show you a little trick here. We want to get rid of those little white spots in there okay so here's something worth knowing how about the zoom ever use the zoom tool Let's see if we can left click and drag over the area we want to focus on which I'm doing right here and when I release boom there it is 
so we can take our brush uh, let's see here B for brush and we don't need it big you know we got this blowed up so it looks a lot bigger than what it is we'll make it maybe a, like a three and we'll left click and drag over the white white parts don't have to be so exact a little there a little there and that should be good enough when we make it right normal size here so pretty cool huh and that's lesson one uh, this is a uh, digital colorization methods uh, video hootie to by me Doyle Allen A.K. I'm the hootie Hey, <laughs> Hootie of Hootie Tuts. All right, um, that's it. Now I'm going to uh, let's see, put a couple more up here on uh, for you to look at and learn from. I hope. So that's it. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you learned something. And if you do this, if you do this uh, tup, remember you can hit the pause anytime or go back or wh whatever when it's on video. So you don't have to try to keep up with me or anything.